Today we'll be discussing 12 herbs that you should always grow in your garden. Herbs that can be used both in cooking and medicinally. So let's get started. Basil is one of my very favorite herbs for many reasons. It is essential for making Italian food in pesto and it makes a delicious tea, both iced and hot. There are many varieties of basil to choose from. Thai basil, holy basil, purple basil, lemon basil, lime basil, cinnamon basil, and my favorite, Genovese basil. Basil also has medicinal properties which support your body in keeping your blood glucose normal, your heart healthy, and your immune system functioning properly. And if these weren't enough reasons to grow basil, if you plant it in your garden around your tomatoes, it cuts down on tomato hornworms. The strong scent that I love confuses the moth that lays the eggs that will become those nasty devourers of tomato leaves. So they can't find the plants and they fly off to your neighbor's garden. Tell your neighbors about basil so you can run all of those moths out of your county. Like I said, it smells so good. If you only plant one herb on your kitchen sill, it should be basil. The fragrant and flavorful herb often used in Mediterranean cuisine, rosemary is known for its aromatic leaves. Just sprinkle a small amount of chopped rosemary leaves into your recipe to enhance the flavor of your food. Traditionally, it has been used in medicine for its potential cognitive and digestive benefits. It seems to improve memory and understanding by improving circulation to the brain, and it may protect your brain from future problems such as dementia and Alzheimer's. Rosemary helps you digest your food more efficiently and decreases indigestion. Its effects on circulation can help relieve or even prevent migraine headaches. And while it may not completely remove the pain and swelling associated with arthritis, many people find relief when using rosemary routinely because of its anti-inflammatory properties. Grow your rosemary in full sun for a healthy plant. Welcome to the Old Mayfield Place. I'm Snow the Farmer's Wife and I teach you to be more self-sufficient in so many ways, such as growing your own food, using herbal medicine, and preserving food for long-term storage. With a subtle earthy flavor, thyme is commonly used in various dishes. My grandma always added a bit of thyme to her green beans and it's also great on beef. Medicinally, thyme has antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties. A warm gargle made with thyme can soothe a sore throat. And a tincture made with thyme can alleviate acne when applied once or twice a day. Thyme is a perennial member of the mint family and will love growing in a sunny spot in your garden. There are about 24 various species of mints and some actually taste like mint, such as peppermint and spearmint. These are delicious in teas and desserts like chocolate mint cake. But mints are also great for relieving gas and bloating, headaches, and menstrual cramps. Mints are on a mission to take over the world, or at least your garden, so you will want to plant them in a pot to keep them contained. But they do come back year after year, so you should only have to plant them once. If you've ever gone to a fancy restaurant, chances are they put a sprig of parsley on your plate as a garnish. But parsley has a fresh and mild flavor and is great for digestion. So don't leave that parsley. Eat it after you finish your meal. It will also freshen your breath, which is a great idea after you've eaten. Parsley contains vitamins such as A, C, and K, and minerals such as calcium, iron, and magnesium. Medicinally, it is used for its antioxidant, diuretic, and gas-reducing effects. Parsley is a biennial plant, which means it has a two-year life cycle. Harvest lots of leaves in the first year because the second year, the leaves will become bitter. However, if you allow the plant to grow during the second year, it will produce seeds that will drop at the end of the season so you will have more plants next year. Not only is garlic delicious in nearly any type of food, when used raw, it's a potent antibiotic, antifungal, and antiparasitic plant. Unlike most of the other herbs discussed today, Garlic needs to be planted in the fall because it needs cold weather to split into separate cloves that will be harvested in early summer. Another member of the mint family, oregano is an important ingredient in Mediterranean and Mexican cuisines. Because of its strong flavor, a little oregano goes a long way. It is known for its antimicrobial, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory properties, and it's been used to improve the immune system, reduce wrinkles, and improve cholesterol. Because it is a mint, be careful where you plant it or it may take over. Sage is another one of my favorite herbs. It has a strong savory flavor and is used in various dishes such as stuffing for your Thanksgiving meal. Medicinally, it has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. 
It is also used to boost memory, improve blood sugar levels, and soothe a sore throat. Sage is another mint, and like all mints, it helps with digestion. Many mints have been used in food for thousands of years, probably because they help you digest your food more efficiently. Often used in pickling and seafood dishes, dill has antimicrobial properties and is also known for its digestive benefits. It can also stimulate milk flow in nursing mothers, so if you are low in milk production, you may want to add dill to your diet. If you have too much milk, you will probably want to avoid it. Horseradish is a perennial plant that is used as a condiment on many meat dishes. Its spicy flavor is not for everyone, and if you breathe wrong while eating it, your head might explode. But besides its delicious flavor, it has been used medicinally to relieve the symptoms of colds and the flu because of its decongestant and expectorant properties. When made into a liniment or salve, it can be used topically to relieve muscle and joint pain by increasing circulation to the area. While not a mint, this member of the mustard family does like to spread and unless you want it growing everywhere, you will want to plant it in a pot. What would Asian cooking be without ginger? The rhizome of this delicious tropical plant is used sliced or ground to add a spicy flavor to many foods, both savory and sweet. It is used medicinally to decrease nausea, aid digestion, normalize blood sugar, and support heart health. This is a tropical plant, and unless you live in a climate that really doesn't have any winter, you will want to grow your ginger in a pot so you can bring it inside during the cold months. All hot peppers are hot, but some are hotter than others. According to the Scoville scale of pepper hotness, the Carolina Reaper is the hottest pepper right now. But crazy people are always trying to develop a hotter pepper all the time. Why? I don't know about you, but I like to taste my food, and while I enjoy a little heat, pain isn't something I really want to experience with my meal. There are many hot pepper varieties to choose from that can enhance your food and to use medicinally. The same chemical that gives hot peppers their heat Capsicum is also the chemical that gives them their medicinal properties. Capsicum aids in digestion, stimulates circulation, helps relieve cold symptoms, and can stop bleeding both internally and externally. Be careful when handling hot peppers. It's best to use gloves to avoid burning your skin and getting the juices in your eyes, which I promise you, you will not enjoy. A fun fact about red peppers is that gram for gram, they contain more vitamin C than lemon juice. Thank you for stopping by the Old Mayfield Place today. Stay self-sufficient, start planning your herb garden, and have a blessed week.